So just a couple weeks ago, I declared the Zuzi Z70 my favorite LiDAR equipped RoboVac of the year. Remember that episode? But what you didn't realize is that I had another candidate at that very same time, this thing right here. But I was still testing it and I didn't want to jump to conclusions just yet. Well, that's all done now and I think guys, we might have to share that top spot with this. The Dreamy Tech Z10 Pro. As a vacuum, I can tell you this, it's fantastic and the docking station also has some cool superpowers. This is a quick review guys, so let's get right into it after these messages of course. And don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you like where this is going. Let's do it! The Z10 Pro costs $600, though I saw it the other day running for $472 on Amazon. I'll link it down below and I hope it's still there. But for that, you get some of the latest tech in RoboVax. LDS navigation for one, and no, it doesn't stand for Latter-day Saints, but laser distance sensor, AKA LiDAR, the module's right here at the top. And on top of that too, in front of these lenses or behind these lenses is the 3D line laser obstacle avoidance system that can avoid sucking things up like Nerf bullets or charging cables lying around your house. Uh, there's a 46 kilowatt motor in here that does 4,000 pascals of suction power and also offers plenty of go. And what do I mean by that? Well, I'll talk about it more in a few minutes. And then we have this, the self-emptying dust station slash charging dock. And the way this thing works is pretty darn cool is when the vacuum is done with its job, it'll park itself automatically back onto here and charge via these connectors right here. But you see these two little ports? There is a compressor in here that runs air through them. So this is the outlet and it runs air into the dust bin right here and sucks all the dirt back out here into the bin at the top. And in here, there is a dust bag, four liters per bag. And every time you buy one of these units, it comes with two. So you probably don't have to buy a new ones maybe every four to five months depending on how dirty your house is but it's pretty darn cool how it works i like how this is made it has tracks here for the wheels and little nubs for traction in case you're you know this is not completely flat and anyways back to this this has a, a wi-fi connectivity of 2.4 gigahertz only battery is 5200 milliamp hours so it's good for around one hour 45 minutes uh, vacuum time which consisted at least for my house around 70 to 30 uh, ratio mix of uh, flat floor tile floors and rugs. Lifting up this flap on the vacuum, you have access to the dustbin itself in case you ever have to manually empty this thing. It has a washable HEPA filter, 400 milliliters of capacity, and also you have access to the reset button as also the Wi-Fi LED status light right there. A cleaning brush as well as a blade for cutting off hair uh, from the rollers at the bottom here. And it's really easy to pop on and off two little buttons. You just pop it right off and you're done. You can also see the charging contacts right here. The roller, yeah, it moves really smoothly. Sensors up the wazoo everywhere from and center um, and also a venting or exhaust fan right at the back here and you can see also one uh, side uh, brush right there there are three buttons at the front one handles right here the uh, far whatever side you're on your far right is the spot cleaning it commands the vac to clean within a 1.5 square meter space and right here is the power button that also serves as the pause resume button and then we also have the home button on the far left this also has a mop attachment. The magnets are right here, but I never end up using these things because they work more like wet wipes rather than actual mopping, but it's there at least in case you need it. Uh, the height for those of you who care is 90 millimeters from the base to the top of the LiDAR dome, and the wheel travel is 25 millimeters. Pretty darn impressive stuff. Besides just being downright practical, the self-emptying feature is one cool party trick, yo. It never gets old. Whenever the job is done, the vacuum parks, it docks, and then you hear this loud whoosh, and then the vacuum is ready to go again. I think that's pretty darn cool. In case you didn't know, Dreamy Tech is actually a subsidiary of Xiaomi, which means the Z10 connects via the really solid Mi Home app. So all the niggles that I had about the Zuzi app aren't even issues here. Things are just more organized, and in my opinion, they're just that much more polished. But that's not to say that the Z70's app is bad per se, that's far from it, but in the Dreamy's case, they definitely benefit from a larger app developer like Xiaomi in their home court. Comparatively, the SLAM algorithm on this is slightly and usefully better than on the Zuzi Z70. It's quicker at mapping out the room overall and seems also more efficient at cleaning from room to room systematically. 
But on the flip side, it's kind of odd. It does take a tick or two longer than on the Zuzi to relocate itself. If you do pick it up and move it to another part of the room, or if you have to clean the brush and then you put it back down, it hunts around longer than the Zuzi does. And speaking of slam, the 3D obstacle avoidance thingamajig at the front here is equally impressive, I'll tell you what. For example, if your Z10 is going about its business and then it suddenly encounters something like a stray charging cable or strap or a piece of Lego on the floor, it will do two things. It will navigate around it as close as possible to maximize cleaning, of course, plus temporarily shut down the sidebars so things don't get tangled or pulled in. Now, it's also not advertised to avoid poop, but I've tried this with mashed potatoes and guess what, it easily recognizes it. But at the end of the day, your poop mileage may vary, so test that at your own risk. I love the powerful motor on this, and not just because of its range topping 4,000 pascals of suction power, but it also has the side effect of being able to drive the wheels over taller obstacles like thicker thresholds and rugs. This thing is like a bloody Land Rover for crying out loud. You probably already noticed the single side brush setup right here. And I'm aware, there's an argument for this compared to having two. Some say it's quieter, uses less battery overall, and since it's for cleaning up against walls, you really technically only need one. But to that, I counter that the Z10, in order to clean against walls, is restricted to traveling only in a counterclockwise direction. And when dealing with situations like a head-on Cheerios test, it doesn't gather or clean a wider swath unlike a unit with two brushes does. And oh yes, regarding Cheerios or anything of that quantity or equivalent size, I noticed that when the vacuum self empties, maybe like 4 out of 10 times, the purge flap itself gets clogged up with those little buggers, requiring some kind of manual intervention on your part. I don't like that the self-emptying bin requires a replaceable bag. That just means more crap for the landfill and extra cost for you. Even though, to be honest, they are quite inexpensive, it's still an out-of-pocket expense nonetheless. I think Dreamy Tech should have gone the washable bin route, kind of like the Shark uh, AV2501AE. And speaking of Shark, I think we just found the Sony of Robobacks, if you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Perhaps it's because of the higher suction power, or maybe it's the motor they're using, but this thing, even at regular speed, is noisier than a bag of beans, yes. But don't get me wrong, it's not a push vacuum kind of levels of noisy, but compared to the 3500 Pascal Zuzi, even though it's only 500 Pascal difference, it's a noticeable difference. It's not a deal breaker by any means, but I thought it's worth mentioning anyway. While the 3D avoidance is impressive and all, the tech sometimes can be a detriment in certain conditions, like tight spaces between furniture legs. I personally saw this happen when one time the Z10 charged right through this space between my wall and one of the furniture or table legs that was just wide enough for the vacuum itself, and when it came time to come back the same way it did, it couldn't, or rather wouldn't, because the 3D sensors read the wall and the table legs as obstacles, so it's just fidgeted around and just didn't know what to do. For the money, it's really hard to fault the Z10 for what it is, for what it brings to the table. The vacuuming bit is strong, the LiDAR and the million and one sensors on board are properly implemented, the battery life plenty sufficient, though I have to say again that the mop is more of a gimmick at this point. And then we come to the charging station slash auto emptying hub. It's something I thought was ridiculous and not something I'll ever need or use or whatever, until of course I experienced it firsthand and then now I think it just adds to the whole autonomous concept of owning a RoboVac in the first place. You set up a schedule, you let the vacuum do its thing, and when it's done, you don't even have to worry about emptying the bin for at least a few months. Now, the downsides, on the other hand, are the price of entry, which is really understandable at the end of the day, but it's still a lot to swallow up front. And also, for me at least, the single side brush. I wish he had two. So with all that said, I want to give the Dreamy Tech Z10 Pro a gear up score of 8.4 out of 10. And this is how I broke it down to get the final score. If you have any questions about it, feel free to comment down below. Well, that's all I got guys, and if you found this video the least bit interesting or you like what you see so far, please consider smacking the subscribe button down below and turn on the bell notification icon to get notified whenever I drop new stuff. I'm currently at 12,946 subs the last time I checked. I know it's a sad number, but I'm hoping to get to 15,000 subs by the end of the year. So if you think you can help me get there, subscribe right now and share the heck out of this channel. And also you can check me out on Patreon right here. You can buy me a cup of coffee or tea or leave me a tip or something. Also remember a thumbs up if you like this video and comment nicely down below. And thumbs down. Hmm. <laughs> Thumbs down to people who drive around at night with their high beams on when there's obviously cars and pedestrians all around you. And double thumbs down to those who drive around at night with their high beams on and fog lights on, even though there's, you know, no fog. 
anyway, that's all I got today. I know it's kind of lame. Uh, I love you guys so much. And remember to do something kind and loving for a stranger this week, because guess what? The world needs it more than ever. And it starts with you. Peace out. And I'll see you all next time. Whoosh.